All right, so there's there's a Willie T. Ribs that's out on the uh, out on the internet right now on the documentary circuit, and there's a Willie T. Ribs that we met a couple of years ago. They're one guy, but they're also two different guys, and I feel like we came here to meet the Willie T. Ribs that we know. We came here to show the Willie T. that we know. Can can you put that on tape? I mean, can you actually run with that? We're gonna try to do it can in a cartoon. Out of the po- what? <laughs> And now for Dinner with Racers, with your hosts, Ryan Eversley and Sean Heckman. Placeholder radio sound. I'm a driver, I'm very angry. The sound of a driver on the radio during a race. Hi, I'm Willie T. Ribs, and this is not an infomercial, but you know me from Uppity, the documentary. Ladies and gentlemen, as much as I'd love you to watch everything, it's not really for the the kids. They they put them to bed, right? Give them some milk and cookies, and send them to bed because we're going to get down for the get down. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Seriously, this is not the episode for the easily offended. If you watch it, don't complain. You know what's easier than watching a video for 30 minutes and getting upset about it. Just not watching it and moving on with your life. Thanks. I want you to look at this. This is what dinners with a racer should be like. Yeah. Hey, you guys shouldn't be out there. I'm, I'm with you, man. Dinner. Make them cook. Show them, uh, show, show, let them show you some talent other than driving a race car, right? There it is. Have you met most young drivers? Sam, yeah, these cats. <laughs> yeah. This is salmon. Uh-huh. This is burgers, yeah. right? And this is lobster. All barbecue, no gas. Wood and coal. Smells like something good, like a new piece, don't you? <laughs> That's our guy. That's our guy. So there's this podcast called Dinner with Racers that uncovered this really epic story about you and your cousin Donnie who played in the NFL and you were racing at the Daytona 24 hour and cousin Donnie's there with you. You get out of the All-American Racers Toyota Celica that Dan Gurney, that's his team. You guys are the big factory Toyota program. And you went to go take a break in the middle of the race, as most drivers do. But then something happened. Well, uh, it was my second step. So I got out of the car about 9 o'clock. I'm walking out at the pit, and Donnie's walking with me, and he says, uh, he says, I got a surprise. I said, well, I'm, yeah, we're going back to the condo, right, to take a rest, right? And he says, and eat, right? And he says, well, that's not all we're going to eat. And I, and I really didn't. Uh, there's not enough warnings for I this just, episode. It's just like immediate. Yeah, yeah, I, before I, every story, is like, hey, it's Willie again. Yeah, just right. to rewarn you. I didn't get it. There we and go. Because I, I mean, you know, I, You've I just been got, driving. I've been driving, right? Yeah. I'm still focused on driving. Yeah. As we're walking to the car, the rent, and it was a Lincoln Town car. As we get towards the car, it's dark, and I see two heads in the back seat. Uh huh. Of your Lincoln Town car. Lincoln Town car. Okay. <laughs> they, 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 they were already there. As we got to the car, the girl said hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, hi. Hello. And so, um, Donnie looks at me and starts grinning. <laughs> All of Gurney's uh, team, well, we are in some condo yeah. across the track, right? Yeah. And we get there, it's party time, right? So, <laughs> mid race. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, there's a I'm, car there's on like track. The biggest race of the program is happening. It's still happening. The biggest right race, I'm literally partying. And I'm, and I'm going <laughs> to tell you, folks. We were getting it on. <laughs> right. Okay. That, we understood what party. We was. were we were partying. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Crandall time. And I'm in the background. 
I could hear the race cars in the background, and I kept thinking, holy shit, man. When I got out of the car, we were leading a race. Right. I was thinking, this is the greatest shit in the world. Right. I said, I'm getting, I'm hitting it, and our car's out in front, this is it. right? Like is the this national anthem yeah, is yeah. playing in the background. Right. Yeah, no, right, no. yeah. Fireworks are going off. Until my next stint. I got no sleep, I got no rest. And now you're wiped out further. Well, I mean, I was tired. Yeah. I was already tired. Well, I didn't know. When I got back to the track, it was like 3 a.m. I got back to the track, yeah. 3 to 4, and I knew it was my gig. Yeah. So I got in the car, went out. We're still leading. Mm -hmm. Got in, and I did my two hours, so uh, it was two laps before I was supposed to come in yeah. and change. Gurney gets on the radio and says, uh, we're going to do a gearbox change this time, and uh, it's not going to take but 10 minutes. we got a lot of time. We're, you guys are way in the lead. Way in the lead. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the car, Yeah. and I'm getting some drinks. So he says, um, I want you to go out and make sure everything's OK. And I thought, this is a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you've done your two hours. Yeah, I've done point. my two yeah, hours. Normally, so. you're getting out. Yeah, I've done. I, I should be out. Yeah. So he says, stay in. I just want you to make sure it's right. I didn't question it. So Dan Gurney. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. Dan. Gur when Dan Gurney says stay in, you stay in. So I went out. And I did my two laps, and I'm, I'm starting to I come in. I'm waiting for them to say come in. Right. So they say, well, how do you feel? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Can you do another stint? Now, how tired are you at this point? Oh, man, I was. Because <laughs> you haven't slowed hey, down hey, since hey, your hey, previous stint. Hey, yeah. I was Gumby. Okay. You ever see Gumby? I Remember have, the cartoon Gumby? I'm, I'm old enough to know Gumby. Gumby. Kids, oh, Gumby was a character. Yeah, I was <laughs> Gumby. And you previously were Pokey, though. Uh, yeah, I was uh, Pokey God Dokes. damn it. Oh, You're uh, my guy. Pokey <laughs> Dokes, <laughs> right? <laughs> you made it worse. So, <laughs> so, so I'm out there and it's 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, right. And I'm up on the bank and I'm watching the sun come up. Yeah. Right? And, I, and I'm thinking, damn ribs, <laughs> you've been out here for six hours. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, I, I said, I can't be a no, I, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. you don't to, want to be the guy. I yeah, wanted yeah. to call to the pits. I wanted to say, hey, man. Please. Dan, and Dan, I'm tired. Yeah. I, I got yeah. a pit. Call yeah. somebody else. Yeah. And I thought, but you don't oh, no. Do no, that's no, like. Yeah. No, that's, no. <laughs> yeah. For one, yeah. Just Willie T. Ribs. Sure. Two, that's Dan Gurney. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Dan Gurney, when I came <laughs> in, got out, I'm going to tell you what. I didn't feel my legs. <laughs> right. Okay, I didn't feel my legs, right? Right, right, right? And Gurney literally walks up to me with a with a smirk on his face, and he says, "I hope they were good." <laughs> <laughs> worth it, <laughs> right? Hashtag worth it. And so I, I didn't say anything. I just looked at him like, well, "Are you kidding me, Dan? That's not funny." <laughs> and then he said, "He says I had to punish you." Yeah. Gurney said that. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. said, I hope they were good. I hope they were worth it. I hope, yeah. Yeah. But I had to punish you. <laughs> and I thought, oh, boy. I, I knew from then on, I, somebody was following me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we went over this uh, last time we were with you, but one of the stories I really liked learning about you when we first met was that when you were racing in England, when you were in your early 20s, as money got tight, you turned to fight clubs and bars to keep your racing career going. Actually, it was to eat. Just to eat. What happened was my parents were sending me enough money to race, and I needed money to eat. And so a buddy of mine, uh, English cat, his name was Paul Allen. Paul says, he says, let's go into, uh, I think it was Ilford. They got some clubs and they drink and they box. Mm -hmm. We can go watch some box. Which right? are traditionally great things to put together. Right. Yeah. Drink yeah. and, right. Yeah. So <laughs> we went to this pub 
and they had it roped off. There was no mat on the floor. Right. If you got dropped, you got <laughs> dropped on cement, right? Right, but it's and roped off because this is just the thing that happens this on a where, nightly basis. Well, this, this is where the fight happens, and, but this it, is where the drinking happens. And, <laughs> and it only happened on Friday nights. Okay. When, when guys had their money, they got their paycheck. Now and they'd go, go there it. and they'd start drinking and oh mate, let's put on t- let's go on the, and, and 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 have a, a row, yeah. right? Yeah. A right row. A pu- or a punch up. We're gonna have a punch up. So so a couple of guys, after they had enough drinks, would get in there and put the gloves on. They'd go one round. Okay. So there were at least gloves. Oh yeah, they had okay. gloves, yeah, right? Okay. And yeah, the, yeah. the the pub had gloves and so <laughs> And there was nothing but drunks. And yeah, yeah. the guys on the bar that were, you know, didn't want to fight, they were betting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll take Clyde, you know. and right. you know, uh, They're all named Nigel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so they would bet. So I, we're watching this. Well, I didn't drink in those days. I didn't drink at all. What would you drink? Milk. Just milk. That's all I drank yeah. was milk. And so I went in. And so Paul's like, man, come on. Come on, you know, you worked out with Muhammad Ali. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I walked up to the bar, and the bartender, he was the guy that was collecting the bets, right? And uh, I said, can I do it? He says, are you a Yank? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a Yank. What gave uh, it away, and he's holding milk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I hey, 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 hey. Oh, we got a Yank here. We got a yank here. He wants to get in there and have a have a go, right? And so and one of the guys says, "Yeah." He says, "This bloody yank. They come over here and they took our women in World War II and they were screwing our women and our no. What did he say? Not screwing, uh, bonking. They were bonking our birds." Or bonking our Hashtag birds. Bonking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm glad we got you know, that corrected. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or birds, because I did, when I got over there, I didn't know, you birds know what bonking meant. was. Women. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. We're bringing bonking, bonking. back. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're bringing bonking, bonking back. bonking our birds. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, well, I'll have a go with him. Yeah. yeah. And so, mm-hmm. well, hell, I whipped this cat up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I felt bad, you know. <laughs> I tried to hold my hand down, just do it, pop, pop, you know, with one fist. Yeah. Bang, yeah. You yeah. know. Because the cat was drunk. <laughs> right, okay. right, right. He was drunk. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> hell, hell, I made 100 pounds mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in bet money. About to say, in like early That 80s, was 70s. 70s. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh, 100 pounds was about 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Dollars. That, that was food money for me. Right, yeah. right. So, so how, does it, how does the collections work for the fighter? So, like, everybody's taking all these side bets, and, like, the, you the get a portion of that? The side bet goes to the bartender. Okay, and then you get a cut. Yeah, okay. then you get your right. cut. So right. everybody bets. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the colored yank. <laughs> it was the colored yank. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or half cost. Half cast. Yeah. I've never heard that. Half I haven't cost. Heard yeah. yeah, got it. Oh. Okay. Did you know what that meant at the time? I didn't. Well, that's <laughs> so you're like, you're like, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know what the <laughs> meant. It was really bad, right? Uh, it's equivalent to in <laughs> or here. <laughs> what the hell's a <laughs> You know, I got, that was my first fist fight. That was my first fist fight. When, right. Yeah, because right. I got called <laughs> and my buddy next to me said, oh, don't, don't pay me any attention. I said, I don't know what the hell's a <laughs> like, yeah. I, I don't know why what, I would. What is a w- <laughs> Well, I told right. the cat who called me w- I said, look, let me get this straight. I said, I'm not a w- I'm a n- <laughs> Pow! And I hit him. <laughs> right. I, I punched him. Right? And then yeah. his butt, and he had long hair. Yeah. I mean, he, and, and that long hair didn't cover up that red neck, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so... I was in I was in a fight with him and his buddy, and both had long hair. Yeah. So I'm grabbing one grabbing guy's hair, hair yeah. and I'm punching yeah. the guy who called me. Yeah, yeah. So, the owner of the pub, and it was called Spencer's Arms. Okay. That was the name of the pub. Yeah, yeah. The owner of the pub, he was a policeman, uh, okay. a tall, thin police cat. Uh, his name was Matt. And so he broke up the fight. He grabs me by the arm and says, I'm taking you to my office. So he takes me to his office. Yeah. Clo- he says, I'll be back. Close the door. And he comes back about, oh, 10 minutes later. He says, they're all gone. He says, I got rid of them. He says, they're troublemakers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then he says, 
He says, you handle yourself quite well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, he says Hi, I'll hire you any day. Oh, okay. Right. Cool. This yeah. was the yeah. uh, yeah. uh, officer. This is a police, English right. police officer. Right, right. Right? He's like, you need and, a job. I got you. And he says, you're welcome here anytime. Yeah, yeah. Well, British cops don't have guns. Yeah. So you need somebody that can just beat the right. shit out of him. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah you are the gun. And yeah. yeah. While driving at 160 miles an hour in a Trans Am car or an Indy car, yeah. were you ever able to spot a lady to approach? Later? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why did I know this? Yes. And I could tell you when it was and where it was. So? St. Petersburg. First right. St. Petersburg Grand Prix. Yeah, okay. great place to live. 1985. Okay. 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 That was a good time to be in St. Petersburg. Yeah. And yeah. The race had started. I was leading the race. Well, the way the track was designed at that time, it went down a pier and then made a, a hard hairpin. Yeah. The tightest hairpin in history. Okay. And then came back down the pier. Okay. Back into the area where the convention center was. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, it was the second lap. I'm leading the race. I'm leading the race. And I'm <laughs> early. And <laughs> it, was, it, like, was, it was, it was, it was second yeah. lap, right? <laughs> second or third lap. I'm going down the pier, <laughs> heading towards the hairpin. Uh -huh. Through the fence, <laughs> I saw a woman mm -hmm. in a blue tank top with monster <laughs> I mean, damn the, it, I the can't. Insert personality yeah, with I, a monster personality. Who seemed very smart. I mean, they were so huge. That my head went like that. <laughs> I was, and I and I, I said, "You dumbass! So you, you better look look where you're going." You got what you wanted. And, I asked the question. And I'll never forget. She had long hair. What she color? had blonde. blonde. Yeah, yeah. Blonde yeah. hair. So you have a type. She yeah. had dark glasses on. Of course. Tank top. Yeah. And these were monsters. Yeah. Her okay. personality. Yeah. Right. And. Yeah, it caught my eye. I went like that, and I thought, Shit. and then I looked forward, and, and I'm coming in the hairpin. Well, the next lap, I said, I got, I got to see that again. Of course. So I came yeah. around the next lap. Human being. And oh, when I'm looking for her, where the hell she go, right? Yeah, right. right. Yeah, she I saw mean, Scott like Every her. lap I went by, every <laughs> lap I went by, I looked, I couldn't find her. Yeah. And on that, yeah. when the race was over, I went down there so damn slow. <laughs> I mean, on the cool, I had won the race. The race was that. won. Right. Where did I take top at? And I was, I mean, <laughs> I drove quiet. down there at 15 miles per hour. I was, and all the drivers were driving. They were driving by me, and I'm, and I was, hey. I, I was, I unhooked my <laughs> belts and I was looking out the, <laughs> the window. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then. I never saw her. Damn it! Oh, the one no. that got I away. Never no. saw The one that got away. She, she had so much to give. Yeah. Never <laughs> saw her again. But I never will forget that. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. <laughs> the maven of St. Petersburg. And the second time. Oh, there's two of these stories. <laughs> was 1991. Indy 500 qualifying. Yeah. After, Lap one. After <laughs> the, the race is set. Yeah. 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 All done, qualifying's over. Well, the next week. This in, is when you're driving IndyCar? 1991 Indy 500. Yeah. After the driver's meeting, yeah. Yeah. Al Jr. says to me, Hey, Willie. He says, You ever, you know about Snake Pit? I said, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard of it. He says, Do you like hepatitis? He says, <laughs> What's your penicillin? He says, <laughs> When you start the race, when. When the race starts and everyone's on the parade lap, yeah. Look to your left. Oh, I see. I, have, right. I know what happens. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. He said you. This is. There is a video say, camera. We yeah. There, we can see yeah. all this. He said yeah, right. you're going to get a show. <laughs> right. And I thought. And I like. I said okay. He <laughs> says just 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 uh, pay attention. 
Uh, yeah. and, and not to the race. <laughs> this is back in the days when Al, Al and I were friends, but not like we are now, right? right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he told me that. And so I'm thinking, oh. And that's part of the perks of being a rookie. Yeah. You learn all that stuff. Right. We get in the car, get strapped in, all these people. Yeah, gentlemen, start your engines, right? And, and everybody's right. And everybody, that's all I was thinking about. I'm thinking, you're, oh, you're breaking barriers. Yeah. It's your first ever oh. Indy 500 history is set. Yeah. And you're like, snake fit, snake yeah. fit, snake fit. That better fire yeah. up, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, if that engine doesn't go. So we roll off, we, and, and, and the mechanics were like, Pulled my belts way down. Right, right, right. right, right. So we roll off, oh, and I right. pulled my belt up so I could. <laughs> so, so, so we got, we got, to, we got around the snake pit area so I could raise up right. the seat. Yeah. And sure enough, I mean, he, Al was right. Yeah. So I said, this. okay, Rev, you got to go to work now. So I got back, I sat back down in there and pulled the, yeah. pulled the, because yeah. you got four laps. Of the to look at yeah to get to look at boobs yeah to look at boobs yeah you're a your, grown ass man yeah right. yeah right oh, greatest geez. race on the planet yeah. oh. and yeah. someone's like there might be <laughs> and you're like huh. <laughs> It's well documented, but you did meet up with uh, Muhammad Ali early in your racing career because he found it unique, and you're of course a, an avid boxing fan and a guy that, that that trained. 1977, London, England. Yeah. Uh, London Hilton Hotel. And this is you're like a junior, like Formula Four driver. I was Formula like, Four. You're 21 right. years old. And Formula like, you Ford. are not like, Willie T. Ribs, famous Trans Am driver. I was not. I just started racing. Yeah. Yeah. One of the auto sport riders called me and said, Muhammad Ali is going to be in London. I'd like to get a picture with you and him if we can. Because I, at that time, I had Muhammad Ali on my helmet. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's on the front. Cool. So they knew, okay, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. So I got to the hotel about 9 o'clock at night, and I saw Ali come into the lobby with his wife, Veronica. I watched him walk by me. I did. I was speechless. I couldn't say anything. So, <laughs> and I yeah, waited super, for him. Super. So he got in the elevator. Gone. Yeah. Right. So I went to the front desk and I asked her. I said, you know, I'm, I'm an American. Um, Ali doesn't he jog every morning? She says, oh yeah, he jogs at 6 a.m. Yeah. So I said, okay, thank you. So I left and I went into Soho, and I went to some jazz clubs <laughs> you went out for the night i t caught a taxi and i went back to the london hilton yeah and I waited until uh, six right and right at 6 a.m that elevator door opened yeah, yeah, yeah. and you had been up for like 22 hours this oh, I, I was up and what, are wearing, wearing? what are you wearing yeah uh <laughs> i was in taxi like club slacks shoes. and a sports shirt it's a really good running attire yeah looks like the new nike fresh well yeah, yeah. I, I had my back to the elevator, and I hear the doors open. Yeah. And I look back, and I saw him yeah. right at 6 o'clock in the morning. He was in a blue track suit. Yeah. He had black combat boots on. Ooh, terrible for running in. Running in combat. Combat boots. Like, yeah. it, like Black combat. Is that a London thing because everything's wet? No, he always ran in boots, and I knew that. Yeah. His theory was it made his feet lighter because the Absolutely. boots were heavier. So he walks by me. I'm sitting on the couches. He walks by me. Yeah. And so I get up and I get almost to the revolving door. Yeah. And I said, hi, champ. He didn't even say anything. So we get out through the revolving door and I said, hi, champ. Can I run with you? No. So he said, no. I said, hey, man. I said, I waited up all night to run with you. In my button down and my slacks. And yeah, and, and I yeah. I saw a jazz club before yeah. this. Yeah. And so I'm following him. He <laughs> says, You shouldn't have done that. And I said, Well I did. Yeah, right. And he said and he could hear my voice it was not British accent, right? Yeah. So we get to Hyde Park. Yeah. And he says, um, okay, but you run behind me. 
Hmm. So, now, and he's just by himself. There's by no himself. like handlers, there was no wife, no, no yeah. entourage. Right, or right, no, right, right. Yeah. He's by himself. Right. So uh, I was following him. Yeah. And after maybe five minutes, he says, "What you doing here?" I said, "I'm driving race cars." What kind of race cars? I said, "I'm driving." Right. I'm from the United States. What's a black boy like you doing over here driving cars? I said, well, that's what you know I came to do. And you ever get scared? I said, no. I said, you ever get scared of Joe Frazier? I'll knock you out. <laughs> that's what he said. I'll knock you out. <laughs> that's what he said. And so as we ran, then he said, Come up next to me so I can hear you. Yeah. Because he couldn't really hear me running behind. Yeah. yeah. So you passed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we ran for about 20 minutes. Yeah. So when we were done, we got back into the hotel, went into the lobby, and he says, um, You hungry? <laughs> I said, Yeah. I said, I've been up all night. You want to have some breakfast? I said, Yes, sir. Up the elevator to the 20th floor of the London Hill. No one was in there. His wife was there, but she was in, you know, he was in this big suite. Right. We got in there, and he was sitting down, and I'm gonna take a shower. And he disappeared for about a half an hour. Then he comes back, and then the door started knocking. Huh. And in came the handlers. In came, I mean, people, people started coming in. And after that, after breakfast was done, I said to uh, Champ, I said, I gotta get, get out. Yeah. And he said, you coming back tomorrow? I said, do you want me to? He said, yeah. And I spent the whole week with him. Just running at 6 a.m.? Yep. That's awesome. I don't have a specific story. I just want a cartoon version of Don King. Walking into his office, he, he sort of sits back and he rocks back on the chair, you know, and the hair's <laughs> up like this. Like it's on right. its own path. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he does have, and he smokes cigars. Right. Right. So he's, so he's got a, this uh, horse <laughs> size <laughs> cigar in his mouth. Right. Right. Uh-huh. It, it's not a thin cigar. Yeah. This, yeah, this, this, this some bitch. Uh, I believe horse it, is Shane yeah. Diesel. Right, uh, Shane, uh, okay, Diesel well, Sean, Shane, Diesel Shane Diesel. Shane Diesel is a Shane Diesel. Shane right? okay. Diesel. So he's like rocking back. <laughs> Willie D, Willie D. <laughs> you gonna use a Muhammad Ali of racing? And 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 I'm thinking. That's what I wanted. Is he <laughs> is he serious? <laughs> Right? Like, is he mocking Because he's me? like such a caricature. Yeah, like, this can't you know, be a real human being. Right, no, right, and, yeah. and, and what's coming out of his mouth? I mean, uh, okay, <laughs> look. Because he's calling you the Muhammad Ali, and you're like, yeah. I'm in Trans Am. What do you want? Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and then he says, I'm going to make you more money than any race driver ever. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I said, okay. <laughs> And then sit down. <laughs> that's, yes, yes, that's sir. Don. Yeah. And where and this is this? Isn't an act. This is just who he is. This is in. This, it, is, who this is in like a hotel suite at, at, at Caesar's the Palace. Riviera. Riviera. At the Riviera. At the Riviera. Yeah. yeah. And because this I, was the Las Vegas Grand yeah, Prix weekend. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and and there was a boxing match going on at the same time. Was there a uh, was there a blonde girl that was very tall with short hair and a fur coat just because that's what's in the movies. I don't know. No. No. The girl that okay. wasn't in uh, all the Rocky movies. That I, like I the evil short haired blonde yes, from all eighties. Yes, yeah, yes yeah, exactly. Yeah. Smoking a long cigar. Right. Yes. Yeah. Sunglasses. She's like six foot six. And then when you look at her and he makes a point, she does one of the like drop yeah. the sunglasses. I, exactly. You know, yeah, they were chrome sunglasses. I really <laughs> yeah. I never saw any woman around Don King. Mm-hmm. Ever. Okay. Ever. Now. There was a whole bunch of groupies, you know, around. Sure. And, yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, I, it was it was almost like a circus, <laughs> right? Yeah, Don King. That's yeah, that's what it he doesn't did. Track. <laughs> 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 it, it, was, it was like a circus. All right, heyday of Trans Am. You were uh, synonymous with. 
dancing on the roof of cars and having your fun. Were any of your celebrations pre-planned? Like, was there ever mirror time? Like, here's what I'm going to do if I win to Portland. No, but on the last lap, if I was out in front, uh, I was already getting my speech planned. <laughs> uh, you're the opposite oh, yeah. of Rick Mears. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> on the last lap, if I was out in front, yeah. oh, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to say? Right. Okay, and then <laughs> when I actually got the checkered flag, I thought, okay, how, how am I going to make this prettier <laughs> than, the last, than time. the last time? Right. So right, you right. weren't necessarily putting in the weekend before, but you definitely were putting time in. Oh, oh yeah, no. Cool down lab. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't want to overthink it. Yeah. So I'd always wait to the cool down lap, and and you <laughs> in a cool down lap, uh-huh. you're as cool as ice. If you won, when you win. Oh, you're like, oh, who, you know, hey, who wants me, yeah. baby? Right. Yeah. What, you know. Oh. You could win any argument. Oh, you yeah. Can topple yeah, anything. exactly. Yep. Right? I didn't get out of the car and take my helmet off. Okay. On the cool down lap, I was already <laughs> unstrapping oh, my uh, helmet. You were getting out of the you car. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was taking my helmet off yeah. as I was cooling down. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. belts were off. You're yeah. Like, you're, so you're the receiver making the touchdown. Oh, yeah. He's already yeah, oh, yeah, 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 already yeah, got yeah. The, belt, the dance plan. I, I yeah. would unhook my belts. Yeah. Okay. Right? I'd flop them off. Right. I'd flop them. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then I'd take my helmet off. Yeah. And I'm looking in the mirror, you know, and I'm getting my hair. <laughs> and I, 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 yeah. I haven't got in the big circle yet. And I'm getting, you know, I'm right. getting like, my hair right. Like spitting right. in your hand. Oh, like, oh, let me get this yeah, right. Yeah. 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 And, right. um, oh, like perfume. You're like, oh, I was, I was, and. I wanted my face to be dirty, cause I wanted. Cause that's like the rugged I'm a racer. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I didn't. I, I, there was yeah. not gonna be a, a towel in the car. Yeah. So you're like grabbing dirt off the dash. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so I, I had to be dirty, but it had to look like a. Can't say that. Yeah. Right. I, I had to look like yeah. Rap and and. I get, can't animate that. Get, get my and and I. Try to get my hair right. Yeah, you yeah. want to look like yeah, but also a beautiful person. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. yeah, and and when I pulled into Victory Circle, the helmet was already laying off yeah. to the side. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Oh, it was it was. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So when we sat down with you a couple of years ago. We not only met with you, but we met with one of your best friends, and I think you referred to him as in charge of the party, but your close friend, Eric Walter. Party manager, fitness trainer, uh, spy, <laughs> scout. World's best wingman. Yeah, uh, yeah. Great looking uh, German yeah, man. Say, I don't know if you'd even say wingman. Because normally a wingman kind of I would, uh, yeah, takes absolutely. things away. Like he's he's just adding to the surplus. Right. Uh, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. putting fire on fire for yeah. you. Because that dude's a good looking dude now. Yeah. So like we said before, we can't imagine what you two did back in the day. When we were together, he was very, uh, how should I say, he was very aware. He wanted me to know all the surroundings I was getting ready to get into. Okay. Right? Yeah. That was his thing, right? And germ- he was like... In- German intelligence, right? <laughs> and by knowing your surroundings, we're ta- we're not talking about like traveling here. Like this is like he's he's scouting. He was scouting everything. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh huh. How did you meet Eric for the first time? It was right after the Montreal Grand Prix in 1982, and I was in a Formula Atlantic race. About a week later, I was back in California. Yeah. Well, I was. I went down to my brother's house, who he's got a home in Santa Cruz. I went to this restaurant called the Crow's Nest. I went to the bar and I was sitting at the bar and I was having a, a virgin pina colada. Well, I was sitting next to this blonde cat. He looked like a surfer. He had cut off and he was, you know, big, big blonde cat. Yeah. So he looked over and he says, uh, what are you drinking? I said, there's a virgin pina colada. He says, can I try it? I was like, wants to drink my drink right <laughs> and so i let him he's and so 
He says, uh, he asked me what I did. Yeah. And I told him, I drive race cars. And he says, oh, yeah. He says, I was just in Montreal uh, a week ago yeah. for the Formula One race. I said, and I was there. Huh. And that was it. So he says, what's the next race you're going to? I said, I'm going to Las Vegas for the Formula One race. Yeah. And Bernie Ecclestone gave me credentials for that race. And so he says, can I meet you there? How quickly did you learn about his skill set? Right away. (laughs) And I'm going to tell you, I mean, no. No, Actually, it was Vegas. Uh, Okay. We were um, State of Caesar Palace. Yeah. Marlboro uh, gave us these party passes, right? Well, we went down to the Caesar's Palace pool that evening. Yeah. It was Friday night. Yeah. And when I'm out by the pool, well, he's got Speedos on. Eric does. Eric does. Yeah, Eric yeah. does. Yeah. And yeah. I'm talking about not American Speedos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's got this is, European Speedos. His balls are definitely oh, showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so he starts talking to a couple of uh, girls. Right. And, I'll, and right. one of them, I remember to her this name. Her name is Betsy. <laughs> of course you do. I yeah. know her. He's talking to her and her girlfriend. So he says, Willie, he says, let me have the key. We had only been down at the pool for an hour. Let me have the key to the room. I said, uh, he said, I'm going to go up with the girls and we're going to have a drink. Right? So he, We as in you and him or no. just him, Betsy, and Betsy's friends? Yes, the three of them. Here's the key. Wow. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go up and have a, have a, some drink and some uh, appetizers. So as good as an operator as you thought you were at the time, Eric was incredibly this cat, he's, efficient. He's, he's, he's fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. blitzkrieg. Okay. Okay. So it's, get, it's dark now. I'm out at the Caesars Palace pool. And I said, well, everybody's starting to get up and leave. So I get up to the room. I knock on the door because I didn't have my room key. I knock on the and door. And you're so early in a friendship, there it is. And you know, oh, you I mean, know you're a week. Yeah, but I said, you yeah. may not care if you walk in. Two but weeks. You certainly, but, <laughs> but you haven't worked out the sock on the door or I had any of the. Yeah, none yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Two right. weeks. Yeah. So I, I get, uh, I knock on the door, and then he opens up the door. He's buck naked, <laughs> hard as Chinese ribbons. They look like a diving board, right? Wait, wait, yeah. wait. He's standing, no, I, he literally, oh, hey, come in. I'm taking pictures. He had no, there was taking no. Taking pictures. He was, he literally was standing up on a glass table with a tripod and he had, <laughs> and, and he had both of them laying on the bed naked. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait so is, is wait. he an operator or is he convincing him he's like an artist? Uh, wait, hey, time out, you guys traveled there. Did he come in with a tripod bag like we did tonight? He had like, literally <laughs> a tripod on a glass table and he's standing up on the table Yeah. and he's take, and they're both in bed naked when I walked in. And they and they pull and they and they pulled up the covers. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, you know, and and they say, "Oh, I'm taking pictures. They so, they so very beautiful. No, so and pretty. Yeah. Both of them side by side. <laughs> Buck, <laughs> naked as a jaybird. Hey, hey, Ryan. Yeah, Sean. We started this show in 2015. Yep. That was uh, over six years ago. It was. Yeah. Have you seen my penis? No, no, I have not. All right. Yeah. And have you seen Eric's penis? In the first two weeks, apparently. Yeah, it's the first two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I called him Rocket. <laughs> I mean, if he was German, he could have been like Wiener Von Braun. <laughs> no, I want to. That's brilliant. Well done. John, you're hey, welcome. Done. Hey, man. You yeah. needed me. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, Bad Cat Award. <laughs> Dude, bad, congrats. B- congrats. Bad Cat. Werner. Wiener, Wiener Von, Von Braun. Braun. You've retired from pro racing, but you're still on the scene. You know who's good. You know who's bad. Is there anybody currently that just drives you nuts? Yeah, hell yeah. It's Dane Cameron. Oh, really? Huh. Suck it, Cameron. Cheers, gentlemen.
We're on a road trip.